Hey guys, Bleach is back here with another Minecraft video. This time, um, I hope I have a special treat for you. Uh, this time, I'm going to be showing off the Pistons mod. As you can see here, I have a sticky piston. And if the creator of the mod just happens to be looking at this, I'd like to say, these are a great idea, but as you can see, pushes two blocks only pulls back one. Um, that's really annoying. <laughs> I'd like to pull back 16 just as much as I can push. Only being able to pull back one is a little more than useless, let's say. So uh, I was trying to make an extendable and then retractable bridge with the pistons and that didn't work because of that can see it here. It's a hole here and a hole here and yeah. So uh, this is what I ended up making instead. Got a nice frontal view. Here it is. It's a piston cannon. And it's pretty huge but it's pretty special too. So let's get on in. So my piston cannon is probably different from any other piston cannon you've seen before. Um, most of the piston cannons you've seen use pistons to shoot it, shoot the TNT. Uh, probably where it shot it up and then shot it. O another one shot it over. Um, mine doesn't use pistons to shoot it. It uses actual TNT, like a normal TNT cannon would. And so you might think, well, why does it use pistons then? And I'll show you. Come on down here. Here we go. These are projectile slots. Got five projectiles. And these are our engine slots. Now in total, there are 60 engine slots. But that doesn't work out too well. The physics for both TNT and water have changed. I don't know if you've noticed. But uh, it makes making cannons uh, really kind of uh, hard sometimes. So I'll show you that later. But first, let's try an actual successful shot. So we'll load one here. Press the button. It goes on up. Load another one. This button goes on up. Load another. Press the button. Load another. Press the button. And load the last one. It can only go up to five. For now. Um, I think if I'm ever going to add on to this cannon, I'd wait until the TNT and water physics were fixed. So uh, let's shoot this thing off. Fire button is up here in this nice viewer viewing room. Let's see, we have our engines here. Press the button. You might want to plug your ears. There we go. So we got three right here, and two way out there. Um, you get kind of unexpected results from the TNT cannon. Um, I've seen where it shoots four right in front. You can't see where the last one goes. I've seen it where it shoots over there, it shoots over there. And once again, that's most definitely the bad TNT physics. And uh, yeah, this light up here shows when the um, cannon is being fired. So right now it's off. Press the button. It's on. And now it's back off. Shows the cannon's done being fired. So let's try that out. It 
doesn't need to be max. We'll do it at four this time. Put projectiles in. Look for firing. So now it's turned on. It's not safe to load. And now you can again. As you can see, there's one over there, two over there, looks like another one right over here. And those actually went farther with less TNT, so um, I don't know exactly what's going on. Let me show you a demonstration of the weird TNT physics. So you saw that I just did uh, five and four stacks here. Now if I do... Um, have I shown you everything? I don't want to blow up the cannon before I finish showing off everything. <laughs> um, yeah. Here. Load that. And load that. We won't load any projectiles. Because it's just going to blow up. So, we only have two right here and one right here. And pretty sure it'll blow up. Oh, no, guess not. Let's try that again. Let's try it. Oh. Let's try it like this. Now, those of you um, with experience in cannons know that all the TNT goes off at the same time. I showed you it did with the five on this thing, then um, it should work perfectly, and it's going into water, so it shouldn't blow everything up, but it does, and that's really annoying. See, there we go, and yeah, I have no idea what's causing that. It's really, really annoying. Oh, yeah, I did forget to say something. Um, it's impossible to misclick. I am right-clicking a bunch of times. And this is because of the redstone in front. It's really nice. I misclick with cannons often, so... Yeah, this is really nice. Let's just load that. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed, uh, I'll put the link for the piston mod, uh, the download, and the canon science thread in the description. They're all great places to check things out. Um, also, I'll probably be putting a bunch more stuff in as soon as... Uh, the TNT physics are fixed. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I also wanted to show you how the water physics are bad, too. Let's see if I can show you. Oh. So in a moment you'll see... not load for some reason. Okay, whatever. Um, in a moment, you'll see water come out of here. And you'll see the TNT in the water. And you'll see that the TNT does not <laughs> for some reason. It just stays stationary in the water. And if you've ever built a cannon before, you know that it moves forward in the water. So that's also really annoying. And yeah, hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure to like it if you liked it, and dislike it if you disliked it. 